House of Models Shine On of models shine on House of Models, shine on! Today, my name is Pretty Esmeralda and I am going for House of Models TV reality show season 2. My, uh, all my life I've been having a dream of having my own company producing organic soap, um, scrubs, dark knuckles, black spot removal, um, um, stretch marks and the rest, and these have been um, uh, have been um, in the world. And also, uh, I want to. My targets are the poor, the medium, and the class, and the the classic because a lot of people these organic materials are being imported outside the country and recycled then sent back to us with chemical reactions and when we use them in producing these products they react to our skin whereby causing some bones and pimples and dark um, stuffs on our face whereby these um, when you want to produce your cream um, you use a um, chemical but instead you use your purple your, your lemon and your your carrots and a lot of oil like carrots and carrot oil Avocado oil, um, lime, lime oil, um, a lot of oils. They produce it outside the country and they bring them down to Nigeria. These are the things we can actually produce here by ourselves, and it will not have any chemical reaction on our skin. These products are the way they bring foods on our table because a lot of people especially ladies want to have the hips and breast enlargement and they go as far as going to enlarge them putting silicones to um, harm themselves whereby changing it regularly but god has provided something that you can use to to enlarge those things and take care of your skin and smoothen it and kind of look okay without having any chemical reaction uh, i can advertise them um, on, on TV radios, radio stations. I can even locally pay people to advertise them for me. And whereby when they use them, um, they, when they see the work, they will constantly buy them because I produce them myself. Hi, everyone. My name is Georgia. And so, like, I make, the, I plant these crops, have a little farm, like set out a farmyard where I can easily make, plant these crops. Just like few hands of laborers to help and building a barn where I can store them and send them out to the local market where they can be sold out for income. And doing this, it's also going to help the poor masses because 
food is something that we can buy. Food is something that you can just go to the market to get and selling it to other people around you has made you like when you package when you even come to package your products there's how you package your crops or your it depends on what you are doing when you package these things and send it out to the market people tend to look at it and they're like okay this person is making this from this end uh, from this um source and there's that's something that's like it's an inspiration for other people to want to go through the business idea we'll be talking about here is a recharge card painting and selling. Recharge card painting and selling, which is under the commercial industry. The, um, the target audience applies to all levels of people, both the lower, the middle, and the higher class. The uniqueness I'm going to introduce to this business is my business name and phone number attached to the recharge card so that my customers can reach me at any point in time and I, in turn, will be able to satisfy their needs. As a retailer or a wholesaler of this recharge card e paint I could make up to 20,000 Naira daily as a profit depending on the amount of customers I'm able to reach. And one good thing about this business is that it is not perishable. It could last for any amount of time you need it. You don't have to recharge today. You don't, you, even if you get a recharge card today, you can wait up till next week to recharge and it will still be working on your phone. I want to speak on, on management, music management, entertainment, basically, on management entertainment. Um, uh, of course, we have um, beautiful talents in the house. We have um, good, good singers. We have beautiful dancers. We have um, beautiful drama actors in the house. Um, I'm thinking of um, putting all these people together, create a group create a platform whereby we can actually showcase ourselves, showcase our talent, um, teach them about our culture, so they can do music like a cultural kind of um, event and um, put it out there. You know, of course, um, the world is actually having an issue right now, crisis over America, and people talking about um, crisis, the Black Lives Matters, people who want to know about their culture, thinking about people who want to come back to Africa, you know, trying to make um, this music and this culture like a live play whereby, you, you know, of course, we have actors already in the house, we have dancers, we have singers, we have good dancers, we have drummers actually in the house, so we can actually do a live play and entertain people and um, make them pay money for our events and um, big events, big companies can actually call us for events and shows and we perform and um, make a lot of money and um, be successful. I'm here to talk about the business idea that I've always been dreaming of and it's about beauty. And I intend having a unisex um, beauty salon for myself, which comprises of different sections. The um, Babin Salon itself, the hairdressing salon, um, where they do the manicure and pedicure, and um, a spa for massage. And my um, targeted um, audience, it's for everybody, both female and male, the old and young. Because normally nowadays, everybody wants to look fine. So that's my targeted audience. Then um, how I intend making money through this, um, like there's a saying that um, money, it's like an ice on the cake. And um, my business, it's, um, it's purely um, service oriented. And um, I intend making money through training of um, people that want to learn and um, rendering my services. Hi, I'm Thames. Well, if I'm being honest to her, if I'm being honest here yeah, actually, growing up, after, growing up as a child, I've always wanted to be an hair stylist, like stand out from the crowd, though it wasn't really easy because we have a lot of hair stylists around the world, home and abroad, like I make wivons, I make hair for ladies, so I needed to stand out and look different from what other people do in the society. So in order to do this, I amend closures and fronters, like I repair closures, I repair fronters, I also make my own closures and my own fronters, like probably from new wivons, because the way I looked into the society, people probably get wivons and fronters from China and there's no other place they can get it from apart from China. So I actually felt like, okay, I have to stand out from the crowd and do something different that isn't into the society. So I had to just get 
these ventilating needles from the market from Lagos so that I can start making my own closures in a way like okay probably I've been drawing attentions home and abroad like from Lagos and the other states and capitals I'm here to talk about um, <laughs> I'm here to talk about my innovative um, business idea which is under a very large topic of entrepreneurship now what entrepreneurship entrepreneurship can be defined as the activity of setting up a business or businesses with the financial risk of and the hope of getting profit now what exactly is my innovative business idea that would be a spa and a beauty salon which is a place where you can get your beauty and body enhancement um, what my audience, um, my target audience would be is married, both married and unmarried women from the ages of 20 to 50. And my business idea is not like, it's a business idea and it's a business I'm actually into. It's clothing line. And I do mainly in men's ways. And I'll share um, things to consider before going into clothing line, especially men's line. First of all, you get a store. And to get a store, you have to look for a very good location to get a store. You, you should know the kind of location you want. Is it a location that will be suitable for what you want to sell, the kind of product you want to sell? And second, you have to check the security level of the location you are getting. How to design kitchens and home appliances, which is your oven, your microwave, your hob, your extractor, everything that you need in your kitchen, your fridge, and the rest of them. How do I, who are my targets, who are my four eyes? It's for everybody because one, everybody needs to cook at home. How will I sell, how will I sell my products? It's by marketing my products from where I am, like starting from where I am. By printing hand builds, by going to sites, visiting, visiting estates, construction companies, and and, and, and estates to tell them about what I'm into. My ideas of business plan is based on foodstuffs. And we all know agriculture is one of, ba one of the major source of income in the country. And every human depends on food daily and we eat food several times a day. And that's why, that's why starting up a business is centered on foodstuffs regarding, regarding, regarding the enterprise of every individual I should plan on. I'm here to describe my business plan. In my my business is actually Viduct Media Consult. And our business ideas is actually a digital skill training center where we teach people on 3D cartoon animations, whiteboard explainer videos, motion graphics, graphics design, 3D logos, also web design, app design, website design, also game design. Yeah, I'm here to talk about my innovative business idea plan. Uh, I would love to go into laundry services. Uh, it's, 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 I, love, I love to venture into laundry service because it's very lucrative and it's the line of business I, I have passion passion for yeah my um my audience my my target audience are both male so my business plan is based on travel agency management first of all i will define travel agency management a travel agency management is a licensed agency that can book tickets local and international so and first of all if i want to start my business plan first of all i will employ some employees tell them about my strategies and hear their ideas also. And again, I will create flyers. And most of my flyers, I will tell them, I mean, put my, uh, my schedules and all and what we do on that flyer and distribute it to the public to let them know about my business. And today I'll be talking about fashion. That's my business line is towards fashion. But I'm not really just concentrating on the fact that everybody's going into fashion. I'm trying to bring out fashion of organza and satin with button these three things are my weapon to shoot out to the world concerning my own fashion people go with ankara people go with lace people go with sequins people go with silicone people go with different attire but a different material i mean to say but right now i want to do my own with organza satin and button and the people i'm reaching out to with this my idea 
are pageant queens because with satin you can you can get a beautiful decent cheap gown you understand with satin you can get a beautiful decent cheap gown together with um the organza the organza can be used to make as ruffles on the satin when you attach ruffles to satin it's beautiful so as my own innovation and my plans i have this pom-pom which i can create out of wools i know i believe you all know what is wool i can create it to be this way so i can use it to design rocks shaggy rocks like this i can use it to design this i can use it to make curtains so my imp the impact i want it to be on the society and our youths and how it's we bring me money is I already start a, a class training where whereby I will be teaching people on how they can do this and make money on their own. They can sell it and make money on their own. But for them to for them to register for the class, they have to pay money. It's not gonna be free because that's how I want to make income from it. I've always have a love for catering, like I love baking and other stuffs like that. So. In my, um, to me, catering is like always being there to like render services to your customers whenever they want. And my my target audience, I have like a lot of people which I do big for. So I put them like under many classes, like from the lowest to the medium and then the highest. Like let me use for instance when I'm in school, someone will be like, "Hey, Presh, I need a cake." I won't say, okay, since you're a student, I know you don't work. I'll just be like, okay. Um, I'm into fashion industry and also into um, cooking and all that. Okay, I would start by saying I've always loved to, I've always loved art and the creativity about fashion. And I, and what it led me to, creating my own business, uh, which I labeled CL Logs. And CL Logs is uh, a clothing boutique where we sell both male and female wares. And this male and female wares is just for, not for, not for children, it's for youth and adults, and it's going to be affordable. As a student, I've always been interested in entrepreneurship and I come up with a business, a flexible business plan. And the name of my brand is Desired Luxury and the slogan is Modesty with Style. Desired Luxury is based on all female accessories ranging from hair, clothes, shoes, jewelry, etc. And it is an online business and the industry, it falls under the online business industry which internet is the delivery mechanism. Desired Luxury believes that all females des deserve to look good and it cuts across all class, young, old, and rich, the, both the rich and the poor. The houses like, like, they love dressing on this this year, so I'm going to sell my dresses to them, which are the houses. And how can I sell my business? Firstly, I have to open a good shop in a good site, in a good environment, got my equipment, um, advertise my goods, maybe using the internet or wearing my clothes. That's how I will sell my business. It's about computer and accessories including laptops, hard drives, I can even do cameras, CCTV cameras, and other things, flash drives, and so on. So for me to get that, this business now, I need a shop, and um, I can do online, online business. I can deliver to my customer anywhere they are, and um, I'm a CEO of a fashion industry, Cash Trend. And I also have my innovative idea for businesses and for growth. However, what I'm going to be talking about is what I call trade education. Now, trade education as it is, I've gone into businesses, I've worked under some financial institution, and I found out that most of uh, the students actually depend on their certificate. That is to say, they depend on school itself before they can fit. 
now i'm bringing up this idea of training younger students and that is where my target audience come in people from the stage of ss1 up to high institution i'll be talking on um, my business plan which is DTAM's multi-purpose cooperatives. DTAM's multi-purpose cooperatives has to do with um, training young folks and the unemployed on different skills, on their talents, and um, it's aimed at it's aimed at helping the unemployed and reducing the rate of unemployment in the nation. And again, my catering service is not all about baking cakes. I, it's all about offering services. Because as far as I'm concerned, hunger is a, is a respecter of no person. It doesn't know the pan when, if you're in pandemic, if you don't receive salary, if you don't pay for anything, you must eat. So, so I really want to take it to the next um, level in the sense that I'll have instant services where every all the social classes and the society can afford the lower class, the middle class, and the upper class. Everyone who, who can afford it at any rate. So my uh, brand is actually pure coconut oil, which is this. So uh, pure coconut oil, and my, my, name, my business name is Asin Oil. So what is actually used for is for cooking, uh, ear, ear uh, cream and equally body cream. So uh, why I venture into this is because I noticed, I myself, when I was using ear cream, I was developing some kind of bumps. So, and I noticed majority of all these uh, products that uh, people are buying are, are actually adulterated. So, but this one is just purely 100% undiluted. It's a coconut oil, which is edible and extracted from kernel of mashed coconuts. So it's very good for the skin, for, the, for your ear, for heart bone, for uh, equally uh, low cholesterol. So if you have a fat and you are using this acid oil, so I guarantee you that you will not have any issue. My love for semolina, it, this has made me want to, 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 I want to sell it out. Like, I want to be a, a distributor of semolina. Now, how can I go into this? I need a strong investor. And having a strong investor, this will make my door-to-door -door distributing easier for me. And I also want to have a platform on social media where I can equally promote my services. If it's possible for me, I can actually have the phone numbers and the contacts of every customer I get. Now, this offers around e-commerce and food industry and mine deals with online purchase and delivery of food. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know how, how, how this works. All this operates on an application, you know. All you need to do is just download the application, you know, um, register, and you get to find all categories of food you're looking for from different offers, from different restaurants in your state. Now, now then you pick the suitable offer you know according to your pocket and all that and um and then you place the order you make a payment we get notified of the order you know we notify the restaurant then we go there we pick your item then we deliver it to your to your doorstep and um i haven't I haven't researched i've researched on the market you now i realized that um the state of the state of food um upon delivery and um Customer customer service is a major problem in this market. And I do believe that you have to dress the way you want to be addressed. And my target of audience has no limits. My target of audience is for anybody that is breathing and living, because I do believe they are breathing and living. You need to be clothed and then styled. And then um, not all business launches on formal business plans, but I, for one, will take a step back, understand the scope, and then the strategy behind the tactics. Bitcoin is Bitcoin is a digital currency created. Is a digi digi digital currency created and held 
electronically. It is also a um, it is also a crypt a cryptocurrency that is being programmed by un unknown programmers. Um, the audience, the targeted, the target audience, the target audience of um, crypto uh, of um, Bitcoin are not one or two. That well, I want to talk about my business plan, which is fashion designer in fashion industry to make clothes for my customers, to make them look very nice. And how I can promote my brand is by putting it on digital platform, just like commercial websites, social media. How I make my income from my um, photography is like I said, posting online, you get orders. And again, teaching, teaching upcoming people that want to become photographers. And that's how I make my money, snapping pictures. Because one thing that is certain is people have their birthdays every day, every month. So definitely, a day will come when um, you just be in your office and then someone just comes inside, at least one or two. If there's no business, at least one, two or three people will come inside or call you for orders, to make their orders. Um, I produce organic soaps, cream, and hair creams. So, talking about how I generate my income, I started about two years ago by selling online. I produce locally and I get my materials. I get my materials from the local markets within, within I'm based in, in Abuja, so I get materials from the local markets in Maraba and um, Nyanya, very affordable to produce these good hair creams and skincare, skincare products. And my target audience are men and women from the age of 18 to 75 who are skincare freaks. Actually, I'm here to talk about my own idea concerning business plan, which fall on fashion. And as for me, I deal on corporate ways. I deal on corporate ways, and I know my target audience, which are the people that work in the office, offices like the bankers. So what I do is to set out a strategy that will make my products more unique than my competitors. My name is Kelvin, uh, the chairman, board of directors, Kingsman Medical Complex located at shop 4 Akuchek Ansa Line or Bogu Market on Nature City, Anambra State. Uh, like the name says, medical complex, we all know it falls in health sector. So our plans and the company, as the director of the company, we are here to present our business idea and also ask uh, for support and also investment from the Tony Elumenu Foundation, uh, support of, uh, to invest in our company for adequate supplies of medical facilities and medical supplies to hospitals, clinics. House of Models, shine on.